This is a new series looking at strange and obscure games, so what better system to start with than the PC Engine? And what have we here but a conveniently placed stack of Hue cards? Let's take a gander through them, shall we? Hmm, a girl on a dragon, a boy on a carpet, some men playing dominoes and... I think we have a winner. Zipangu, yes that is how you pronounce it apparently, looks like a title that's so zany it might end up giving you a headache but on closer inspection it's not as wacky as you might think. First off, it's a film tie-in. Yes, you heard me right. This is not your average licensed title though, but based on a movie that's very Japanese indeed. A quirky samurai romp, to be more specific. Here's a clip from it. What do you even say to something like that? The film has a blank Wikipedia page and no reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, so it's fair to say that it's little known outside of Japan. Still, at least a review on the IMDB tells me that the titular Zipangu is a city of gold. Thanks, Mr. Bungle. I'm rambling here, but ultimately this could be the least well-known movie tie-in of all time, which is the sign of a hidden gem if I ever heard one. It starts in promising fashion, with a title screen that, thanks to the music and some nifty parallax scrolling, shouts epic adventure. So it's perhaps surprising to find that this isn't a game in the mould of something like Afro Samurai, but is instead an understated puzzle platformer. Well, understated compared to its source material, no, we don't need to see that again. The plot is never explained, that's probably for the best, but you play as the samurai Jigoku Go Kura Ku Maru, effectively placed in these self-contained 2D labyrinths, where your main ability revolves around creating and destroying blocks to traverse the environment. You must collect the key in each level, which goes all power of Greyskull when you nab it, and then get to the exit that subsequently opens. Various foes stand in your way, and you're also up against a tight time limit, with these two factors meaning that quick thinking is a necessity, but there must be some form of planning when you create a platform or take out an enemy, as one thoughtless move usually results in the most dishonourable end. In this way, it mixes elements of fast and slow-paced puzzlers into a heady brew. It's an acquired taste for sure, but one that many will quaff down with relish. But for some, this recipe might seem a tad over-familiar. Well, that's because the entire game is actually based around Tecmo's cult classic Solomon's Key, a game that was originally released in the arcade and then ported to the NES and various other systems. Tecmo then allowed the game to come to the PC Engine under this new guise, four years after the original version of it was released. Zipangu was developed by Arc System Works, and published by Pack-In Video, who have a questionable track record when it comes to licensed titles. And that's being kind. It couldn't mess up Solomon's Key though, with many of the levels identical in layout, some new stages have been added though, and then there's the complete visual overhaul of course. In fact, this is arguably the best version of Solomon's Key out there. There are some nice added touches too, such as the way Jigoku reacts to hitting a block, this oddball jigsaw you add to after passing a level, and the addition of a password save system. It's a shame that even more elements weren't changed, actually. One example is that like in the NES version, you press up on the D-pad to jump, with the lesser used fireballs unleashed using one of the main action buttons. In fact, this weapon can cause problems, with it seemingly imperative to have at some points to progress. Still, such moments of frustration are rare, with failure nearly always being down to your inadequacy. Ultimately, if block-creating puzzle platformers are your bag, then you need Zipangu in your life. But to answer this show's overarching premise, is the game weird or wonderful? Wonderful. Although it's far from perfect, it's a top-notch puzzle platformer that age has been very kind to, and is nowhere near as incomprehensible as the game's box art might suggest. The film it's based on is far stranger, making it even odder that this is possibly the greatest movie tie-in that no one really knows about. All that's left is for Jokoku to play us out. Over to you, J-Man.
俺様の舞も味わえねえた Why did you not tell me? You will bleed to death.